So today's plan, pretty simple. Uh, goal here is to get the machine light working and plugged into the uh, control panel. Get my keys real quick. So we're gonna start by pulling the ice cube relay out of the machine and then we'll figure out how it's connected to the machine. Fight with that. Find out how it's connected to the machine and then make some progress getting that joint hooked up. Alright. Take the old keys out of here. Back to the panel. We go. And breakers off. So we're good. So we saw in the last video I got MTL machine light. So let me try to get this guy out of here. And then we'll check out what we got here. Um, MTL. Huh. All right, so I don't see any kind of terminal, but what we'll do is we will, should be pretty straightforward. I imagine the first two at the top, uh, this one here and that one there, closest to me, are going to be the, um, uh, might be outlets. This might be our coil here. Coil might be there also. So let's see if we can get into some schematics and determine what is what. Holy wind. Look out. Clean the windows a little bit. Oh gosh. I got tired of walking into this side door with the windows looking like a total mess. Still need to dial them in a little bit. Something back there is screaming. We don't usually have noisy machines or stuff that runs. It's unique. I got the uh, got this cleaned up real good. She's looking shiny. 181 tools. I got this dialed in back here. It's got a nice little shine to it. Uh, grease machine, grease distribution uh, sensors. We got some solenoids here to route coolant different directions. And then I believe that that's through spindle coolant um, flow and filter, pretty sure. And then we saw, I got this guy running good. She's loving life. New friend to us here. Um, all right, so where I left off is, I was gonna look for a schematic for this guy, but I uh, couldn't find a schematic and I don't need one because this is really simple. So you can see these two tabs in the back. So we got six on the top and then two on the lower part. And if we look, I can see that that lower section is going to that coil. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. So that's gonna be our coil tied to the bottom. And then we'll check the output or what it's switching. That way I can determine whether or not it's 110 volts because that light runs on 110 volts. So it could be a DC light uh, that that would be that would make sense to me. So what we'll do is we'll get this panel energized. I also went through this a little bit, got her cleaned up, cleaned off the spindle, cleaned off all the chips that were laying around inside of here. So feeling good about that. See this guy fired up. The I changed the set point to 15 degrees and did confirm that it was absolutely bringing that sump down to temp. So that was a win. Again, that was a bit of a carryover from last video. So this video, we will see what we got up here. I'm not going to be able to show you uh, me poking in here. I just ordered up a magnetic tripod or a magnetic uh, mount that I can put up here and also a tripod. That way I can set these uh, shots up a little bit better. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the feed that's coming into here because there should be a feed to that relay and then we'll see what uh, what voltage is coming out. I'll update you as soon as I get, get that done. 
All right, so after, um, after probing the output from here to ground, um, I'm getting 24 volts DC. So this is in fact switching 24 volts DC. That's not gonna work. We've got 110 volt light, so that's a, obviously a conflict. Uh, however, what I've got up here is I've got a transformer that primary side is tapped to 200 volts. And then if I come over to the secondary, I've got a neutral, uh, zero. And then I also have um, 100 volts here. And I've also got 110 volt that's open. So what I gotta do is I gotta figure out, this is a one KVA transformer. So I'm gonna have to check to see what load is on that right now and see how much room it has. And then I'm gonna have to check to see what amperage this uh, light runs at. So, cause I don't have any data on the light. So I'm gonna have to poke around, see if I can get that information, do some quick math, uh, figure out if it does have enough capacity on that transformer there to run out. It should be fine. Uh, one KVA is pretty significant. I think it's at two at 208, I think one KVA is like 2.776 um, amps per KVA. Um, so that should mean it should have three amps of output on that secondary. Uh, but I'm, again, I'm gonna double check that and make sure. I also have to test to see what it's actually, what the load is on it now. So I'm gonna clamp that and I'll get back to you. All right, so I was able to clamp on the uh, lead up here. So it was a little bit tricky to get in there. I clamped on, might have been the neutral. Clamped on the neutral, yeah, so the zero, but I've also got that 100, so that may actually be what's feeding the system. Let me get in here, bust this tie off of here, turn the machine off, turn it back on, clamp on it, because I don't feel safe working around this uh, system here. I don't, don't want to trust it. All right, guys. Sorry about the delay. No delay to you, delay to me. It's later in the day. I uh, was able to make some progress on this project. And so here's what I got. Um, I was looking around and we talked about the primary and secondary transformer here. So I've got uh, 110 volts at the top. So I split the, I split the two wires, the uh, line and the neutral coming off of the light, ran it down. I ran the neutral to the zero on this primary. So you can see I got a zero there. So you see that black wire. That black wire is the neutral to the light. I fed that light wire down here, came across and up here. So I have the 110 volts, the brown wire coming out of the 110 volt feed from there. I got it going down to the top of this relay over here. I checked to make sure that the relay was isolated. Uh, the two switched legs are indeed separate, so I just left everything the way that it was. And then I have the, the, the hot feed from, or I should say the phase to the light going in the bottom. So right now, the light neutral is landed to the transformer neutral. Uh, 110 out of there, it's coming to this side. So this ice cube relay is controlled by the panel. So now if I hit lighting on, we've got light. So and we can also just see what it's being activated on this end. So you can see we've got that lights lit. Um, no issues. So problem solved. We don't have to plug it into the back uh, 110 on the wall anymore. We just control it with the um, 
this transformer that's been kindly included on the machine. Uh, so that's how we're controlling the 110 volts now. Uh, thanks for keeping up with this. I wish I could spend more time uh, actually showing the whole process and just going through it, but it's pretty straightforward if you've ever hooked up an ice cube relay before. So we're all good. Um, problem solved. Catch you next time.